What is up? It's been a good while since I did this, but here we are. So, here I am in my Vasante. I, quite frankly, I have been really digging these Italian heavies. Are they the greatest? No. But they're just enough interesting to keep being bothered with. So, I ended up playing a lot more uh, Vasante games, just waiting till I figure out what I'm going to do to get a good, decent crew for the Rhinoceronte. But, here we are. So I got all bounty equipment running on the uh, Basante Nail. Next to all the battle passes and stuff. So of course, here we are on mines. And so we're going to start heading, making our way toward the hill. Now, nice thing about these uh, heavies is that you can go ahead and uh, fire shots off early. And not really be too badly screwed. So their entire team just basically went ahead and took the hill, and I'm just thinking maybe I should go elsewhere, but then I remember the uh, little hilly spot. And just kind of think better of that. We're going to have to just try to make do with what we got here. So there's a whole bunch of dudes, and this guy just comes around offering. It's okay, we miss. It's okay, it's a warning shot. So, like I said, I've been really digging these heavy tanks, and the Basante is just a really nice premium for it. It is the least accurate of them, but it's still a solid performer. And it becomes a lot better, especially once you get the thing fully loaded. Fortunately, this is mine, so uh, you got to take whatever shots you get when you get them early on. So it made it a little hard to go ahead and load up the clip. But we're loaded now, and uh, we're just kind of waiting for this guy to be offering again. Kind of seeing what our team's up to. And here it is. And that was just the kind of thing I was waiting on. So he just burned his repair kit. So that's, uh, that's, that's good to make note of. We'll reload our uh, one shell, and... Uh, Start taking pokes around this hill and see who we can catch out. Because you got a bunch of dudes on the hill. I don't want to come all the way out and around. But they don't actually have many people guarding the entrance itself. Except for this guy. I thought I might be able to get in through his side. But now I got my other shell. And look for weak spots. Look for weak spots. Hold on. Maybe there was something in the gun melee. Oh, poor guy. It sucks to have such a decently armored tank overall, and then the gun melee is just too damn weak. So this guy ran in here foolishly, thinking he was going to break it open or something. So I tried to uh, back him up however I could, but he, he just got killed off too fast. Oh, look, it's this guy again. Hey, what's that gun melee? Oh, uh, never mind, you're dead. They never learn. So, we're just slowly warming up now. Now that we kind of got the entrance, we're able to start coming to play and taking the hill. But there's still a whole bunch of people on there. Two bat shits, a camp panzer, the, and two other light tanks. So, there's a lot of DPM while my team really doesn't have anything. So, right now, it's just me and the Renegade. And the Italian heavies are good for support, but they don't have DPM or... Because of that, they really lack some staying power. So unfortunately, I didn't quite catch the uh, camp panzer out soon enough, so that was unfortunate. <clears throat> and somehow he just uh, gets the hell off the hill. I'm not even sure how yet. But see the WZ kind of roaming in the back. We're going to try to get a shot. And like I said, this, this is the least accurate of them. Then I got the improved aiming to try and help it, but... It can only do so much. The bloom is still pretty bad. Okay, now we got Scorpion Renegade. Scorpion is just going, screw this, we're going. Camp Panzer is gone. I don't know what killed him. Still didn't see it. <laughs> this is the third time seeing this. But here I am. I'm going to go ahead and back these two up. And oh my god, all the bat shits. <sighs> Alright, this guy's offering. Okay, so all the bat shits are pretty much empty. And I'm just kind of trying to decide how to uh, press them. 
Good news is the scorpion did live and one of the bat shoots killed himself. Just leaves this guy as soon as I get the next shell. We're just going to press him because autoloader. And he decided that was the perfect time to come out and get killed by the scorpion. Okay, kills ours. Let's press in and start seeing how we can help clean up the little village. KV4 paying no attention at all, so we'll shoot him. I think I may have almost had the reload, but I got my next show loaded for like half the time. So, just chilling. So get a sneaky shot on the EMA as soon as we can, and we're on the longest reload. But we're, we're this, the game's pretty much over. We're just cleaning it up and arguing over who's going to get what. So I'm just sitting here to land my shells reload. There's really no reason for me to come off this hill just yet. And the S tank just decides he wants to die, and I appreciate it for him. Didn't realize there was a Sante sitting back there. He got a nice shot in, but again, we're just arguing over who's going to get the damage and this and that. The game's pretty much over. These two are trapped here now. And now I'm just going to, like I said, there's just no reason for me to leave this hill anymore. I got these guys trapped. They try and break out. I'm here to shoot them in the ass. So just let my team come around, get my shells back. Oh, wasn't quite paying attention. Missed that one. Missed the chance. But it's okay. They're going nowhere. And here we go. He tries to break out. And I kill him. Back up so I don't get killed by Basante. And Basante is just now hiding. Like, I really, really do like these tanks. They, are, they have some flexibility to them. But the lack of DPM and all the other th stuff really prevent it from having any staying power. So... They're, they're quite interesting. Very great supports. And uh, that's basically it for this game. And uh, I'll catch y'all later.